Hello everyone. Welcome to this journey. Correlation of text content across documents using Watson Natural Language Understanding, Python NLTK and IBM Data Science Experience. The code repository for this journey is available at the URL specified here. We all know it is really important to correlate the text content across documents to obtain actionable insights. In this journey, we have come up with a methodology to correlate the text content across documents in a configurable way. The correlation algorithm is driven by an input configuration JSON that contains the rules and grammar for building the relations. This JSON configuration file can be prepared by a domain expert. The configuration JSON document can be modified to obtain better correlation results between the text content across documents. This is the architecture for the developer journey. The input configuration JSON and the input documents are stored on IBM object storage. The correlation algorithm is on a Jupyter notebook that is hosted on IBM data science experience. Now let us look at the input configuration JSON file, the input documents and the output from the correlation algorithm in greater detail. Let us look at the input configuration required by the algorithm. The input configuration is divided into two categories, coreference and relations. In the coreference part, we specify the chunking patterns to identify all the personal pronouns and the proper noun names in the text content. In the relations part, we specify regular expression patterns that can be used to infer the relationship between entities. Let us take one example to understand how it works. Let us take the Bornat relationship. For the Bornat relationship, the regular expression pattern that is specified is if a person is followed by born or born at or born in and then it's followed by a location, then we infer it's a Bornat relationship between the person and the location. The text categorization such as person or location is obtained from the Watson Natural Language Understanding. Similarly, we have specified the different regular expression patterns to identify the relationships that we are interested in in the text content. To demonstrate the output from the algorithm, we have selected two documents. The first document contains information about the former President of the United States, Barack Hussein Obama. The second document contains information about Michelle Obama. Let us now look at the output from the correlation algorithm based on the input configuration file that we have specified. In the output, we can see that all the entities and the relationships have been identified. You can go ahead and enhance the algorithm as well as the input configuration file to get better results for the specific scenario that you are working on. This is all we had for this developer journey. Thank you.